Welcome boxing fans, it's EBA 101 Boxing and I'm here covering the prediction video for Devin the Dream Heaney versus Jorge, Jorge Linares and uh, this is going to be a fight that I haven't really heard too much about uh, but I think it's going to be a very important fight uh, to see Heaney kind of bounce back versus that Gumball fight where he didn't look so impressive and Linares is a pretty legit opponent Although Linares has always kind of faltered, had kind of always disappointed in the big fights. He did drop Lomachenko when he fight, fought him, but he ends up getting stopped. And, you know, and he's always been that fighter where he has fast hands and he looks good. But there's always, he always finds a way to lose in the big fights. And uh, for that reason, uh, I do expect Devin Haney to look better in this fight, hopefully. Uh, and really start showing that he deserves some of these, uh, you know, uh, fights that he wants and, you know, more people to watch him because he is a good fighter and he's very talented. Uh, he's not the best talker to make uh, a promotional fight, uh, but so he needs to actually look very impressive either by knockout or like just really dominating and exciting volume punching. Uh, selective, of course, he still won't can box, but he just needs to look pretty good. And Linares has been stopped a couple times already, so I feel like he should be able to win this. Um, probably in the first five, six rounds, I see Linares giving him trouble uh, just with the speed, but he tends to fade, like I said. So I do uh, end up choosing Devin the Dream Haney. Uh, this is going to be a good fight for him and experience. He's that's probably the most accomplished fighter that he will face and I expect him to just continue to face tougher positions after this. Then there's also another fight Donito Donaire is fighting um, OB Bali or something like that uh, and this is an opponent that I haven't really heard too much but based on the Inoa fight of um, Donaire that he had you know Inoa right now is like Pound for pound, one of the better fighters out there that everybody's had, kind of talking about. Um, I expect Donaire to still have enough in the tank if uh, Nordin Ubali kind of does a little bit better. Then uh, that'd be impressive. He's 17 and 0 compared to 40 and, and 6 uh, of Donaire to Donaire. I have been seeing Donaire for a real long time. Of course, he's not the same fighter that he used to be, uh, but he. He has always been, he looked very impressive in his last fight. Uh, probably fight of the year candidate that he had. Um, so I expect him to win. Uh, but then I, at this stage of his career, I don't know how many good fights he had left. Maybe that was his, probably his last fight that was that he showed that he could still fight. Uh, but sometimes when you're getting older, um, you know, things drop off like that. Uh, but who knows? There's another recap also of the Ramirez versus um, Josh Taylor. I ended up picking Josh Taylor to win, although I was right. It was heartbreaking because I was kind of hoping that Ramirez can prove me wrong. And he was proving me wrong for a couple of the rounds this past weekend. Um, but he ended up uh, getting dropped twice and he couldn't recover until the 11th, 10th round, late 10th round. And he couldn't hurt uh, Taylor enough to drop him. And come back in the card. So Josh Taylor, I uh, becomes undisputed at 140. He's looking to fight maybe uh, Crawford or maybe um, Teofimo Lopez. Hopefully, one of those two fights would be great for the sport. Um, the other big news, I, I just not, I'm not gonna have enough time to put a, another video, so I'm dropping some information here. Is uh, the boxing game that we, uh, the ESBC it announced finally. Canelo will be in the game, so the face of boxing is going to be there. He's going to be the cover of the game, and it said that it was going to be dropping late 2021, so that game will be coming out this year. That will be amazing. Hopefully, it doesn't get pushed back because I can't wait to play this video game online with subscribers, with people online, so streaming it against other channels if they want to challenge me. I will try to get good at this game. And I'll be making some of my prediction videos, probably playing this game. And there's going to be content after content because this game has one of the best rosters ever for a boxing game. Uh, that's it, guys. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Support your boy. 
I'm trying to get this channel a little bit bigger so I can get more interviews with boxers. Uh, I'm trying to do maybe more uh, eating like boxer series. Um, try, I'm, I'm busy all the time, so I'm trying to get this thing a little bit more settled in and um, a little bit more organized as I, as I go. So subscribe.